so today I'll be doing a DIY refurbish on this piece I got off Facebook Marketplace. This I'm going to convert it to a white and gold. I really like the gold trim that's already on here. So I'm going to kind of stay with that. But as you can see it does have a couple dings and stuff so I'm going to fill that in with like wood filler. Just to kind of get it back smooth and stuff. I'm going to sand it down, paint it, and get it situated. So stay with me guys as I complete this project. I hope you guys stay tuned. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, share with your friends, share with your auntie, share with everybody. <laughs> so he's going to go ahead and take off the um, poles off of it. So we can get it um, started the clean down process. I'm gonna go ahead and use some TSP inside a bucket of water to tackle this cleaning process. Alright, that should do it. Alright, and the purpose of the TSP in the water is to take off any crime, dust, any debris that's on the piece. To be honest, I got this from a um, sale on Facebook Marketplace. It's like an estate sale that um, a person was having. I don't know how long they had it for. I know it's a really old piece. It had the time, you know, stamp on the back and everything. It's a real antique. So I just wanted to make sure I was able to take off any, you know, smells, anything that was going on with it before I started painting or priming the product. That way we can have an even, smooth base to work with and um, the plane can adhere to the um, to the piece. It might not look from the outside that it was actually really dirty, but if you can check the water, you can see that it's starting to change color. It's starting to turn brown. Like looking at it from the naked eye, you definitely won't be able to see that this is, <laughs> this is grimy. Also, please, if you're using this product, it is a chemical, so use protective gloves and mask or if you're not able to please be in a ventilated area that way you're not breathing in these um, chemicals
am also cleaning down the drawers and the um just the inside and the outside just to kind of get it a good you know you know i don't know again with the previous owners i am making sure that i clean down the insides make sure there's nothing going on inside of them before i properly paint and bring this piece inside my home Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and start the sanding process after the wipe down. Just let it dry for about 10 to 15 minutes. That way um, it can properly, you can properly see everything that's kind of left over and that way you can sand down. So I'm just using a sanding block to go over the piece and it do have some dings and um, scratches on here that um, I'll show a close up on later on. But I wanted to go ahead and kind of get that out smooth it out and um that way again the paint can do what it needs to so i'm also going to go ahead and put this wood filler on the piece and that way we can go ahead and take out those scratches i am using chalk paint but again this is a piece of wood i'm not really f i'm not really familiar with it so i want to make sure i'm able to kind of cover everything in the first you know before I start painting that way if all this fails I can have some kind of backup so once I have that um, wood filler in I'm gonna go ahead and start the priming process I'm just using a regular can from Home Depot to um, prime and not using a lot it may look a little bit streaky in the beginning just because you know with priming that's what it does it's just the first coat again i just want to ensure that when i start the actual painting process it just gives a smooth coat there's no bleed through or anything like that also the primer helps with like any weird smell this one didn't have a weird smell on there thank god but it i just want to make sure that i kind of get my base down correctly This is after the first coat with the primer. Don't mind if it's a little streaky. It does that. We just need a good primer to be able to have the paint stick to the drawer. Okay, so I'm starting my actual first coat of paint. I'm just using a regular brush and I'm using um a white chalk paint by bear it's just a basic you know this is my first major project if you may and I just wanted to start out small with but make it look pretty decent because it is gonna stay in my home forever <laughs> so I just wanted to make sure it looked proper but just paying attention to details painting and you know direction that it needs to Okay, so we're going ahead and adding some gold gilding wax onto the hardware. So with this piece, I really like the um, hardware that came with it initially. It's just that it had white paint. I guess they tried to paint over it, but I did not like that. I want it to be a clean, nice look. And I believe that gold, that gold gilding wax definitely gave it a nice polished looks that I really like so I added to all of it I'm also adding it to the legs as well as I'm going to go ahead and add it to the details on the top drawers For the top drawers and um, 
little intricate intricate detailing on the piece i went ahead and used my fingers as well as some q-tips i had a really small brush as well that i was using but it wasn't coming out correctly so i went ahead and just used you know the q-tips and the and my fingers also with this gilding wax a little goes a long way so a jar it may come you know really tiny but pay that no attention because i've been using this like crazy i use it for other projects that i have after this um, piece here but this is definitely a come up i never knew about this i was watching another video and i saw it in their um, video and i had to go get it it's on amazon and i can link it in the description box below that way if you need it you can just grab it from there it actually comes in other colors as well they have rose gold silver another type of gold on here as well so i really like i really like this um gilded wax it's definitely a come up in the craft world and this is a final look on the piece i definitely love the outcome on here it definitely was a antique antique old school antique that i transformed into a beautiful french provincial you wouldn't even know that i i'm so proud of this um project you guys it definitely definitely has been the start of something i'm now on to newer projects i'm gonna go ahead and start this is my definite baby i love this piece i have it photographs so well as well. I just used it recently in my Christmas pictures. I can, if you check out my Instagram, you can definitely see it. It's been featured, like, I really, really love it. So I also used, I'm not, it's not showed on camera. I also went ahead and used some clear wax just as a protective coat to protect the piece. I went ahead and, um, applied it with a microfiber cloth and pretty much wiped it all over the dresser. That way it protects it from any chips or any, you know, that way it doesn't flake off or anything like that. So this will just be a protective coat for the um, dresser as well. If you guys love this piece, there's so much more to come. I would love if you would like, subscribe, share, comment, just to keep up with me, you can follow me on all my social media. Um, I'll go ahead and link it in the description as well. You can definitely keep up with any new videos. Since this is my first video, you guys, I'm not on an actual schedule just yet, but I promise I'll be keeping them coming. And that way we can just keep up, keep crafting and just keep moving. Thank you guys so much. And I hope you enjoyed this video and don't forget to subscribe.